How could this have happened? Why would somebody do this? They'd have to be crazy, right? But that's not the question you're going to have to decide. You're going to have to decide whether the defendant was legally insane at the time. You've heard that he's raised the insanity defense, claiming that he was insane at the time that he committed these offenses, claiming that he had a mental disease or defect. And as a result of that mental disease or defect, he was unable to appreciate the criminality of his conduct, or he was unable to conform his conduct to the requirements of the law. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen, as you're listening to all of the evidence. Think about what he did before, during, and after these crashes. This trial, however, is not about whether or not Stephen Burgoyne drove his truck the wrong way on 89 and hit the jet engine. It did. That's the hard truth. This trial is about why it happened. What was going on in Stephen Burgoyne's head on that tragic night back in October of 2016? Why in the world would he do such a thing? The evidence will be that Stephen Burgoyne was totally psychotic and delusional at the time of the crash. The evidence will be that he was, in every sense, insane at the time of the crash. All the evidence points to that conclusion. There will be testimony from two psychiatrists who will tell you that Stephen Burgoyne was suffering from a mental disease at the time of the crash that caused him to be psychotic and delusional. And due to being psychotic and delusional, the actions were done when he couldn't conform his conduct to the requirements of law or appreciate the criminality of what he's doing. That is legally insane. 